Silent Hill 2, a game that came out around 2001, and now it's getting a remake this year, and it's gonna come out around October, so like 40 months from now. Uh, recently, it had a few trailers come out, and the fans of Silent Hill are kind of on the, will this actually be good or is it straight up garbage fence? So let's watch some stuff and see what we think. Will it be bad or will it be actually good? Who knows? Let's watch and see, shall we? This is an imaginary opening theme song, theme song, oh. This is from the Bluebird Team Dev Diaries. I'm very excited for people to play this game. There's no one aspect that I could say that I'm I want people to experience because I want people to experience all of it. It's such a journey, it's such a big part of our lives and I just want people to be able to see it. Oh, that's nice. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who have not played the original but mm -hmm. at the same time to still well, retain has been a while. the familiarity of the, of the game that the player remembers from 20 years ago. Our goal yeah. from the very beginning it's was to maintain <laughs> the game's atmosphere while modernizing the gameplay to make it competitive in 2024. Imagine, it's getting a remake 23 years the remake, years the story after remains largely the same. Release. However, with the magic of modern technology, we were able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest mm -hmm. was like designing combat. We <gasps> Man, want to be as faithful as possible uh, to the original game, but also we want players to feel satisfaction while playing, no, uh, remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer mm -hmm. have much more control over what players see, where they go and so on. The change for the third person perspective <laughs> was a challenge. I see. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world, to show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible and just make this game richer. Mm -hmm. so the main thing that requires rethinking was the fog because it was called classic in the original yeah, game. Yeah, a lot of people the veil that you know, covers the fog. world and, and uh, makes the player to feel even more isolated. Yeah, you gotta feel isolated. New technologies so gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during the earlier generations of video games. For narrative, this is very visible in facial expressions. We can tell so much through just the subtle changes on characters' faces. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you bother the looking at The presented gameplay <laughs> footage shows a fragment of the city from the beginning of the game and sections in Brookhaven Hospital. The fight against monsters is prepared in a more tactical form and it's mainly based on the varied designs of the enemies. James mm -hmm. is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting your approach to the situation will be the key to success. However, your playing style, among other things, determines what ending you will discover. I mean, James is an ordinary dude, so, you know, that would make sense. I mean, if you think about it, you know, ordinary dude, uh, how much fighting did he actually need to do, right? But yes, so this was um, the team dev diaries of it, and then let's watch a little bit more of the gameplay, and then we'll talk, shall we? So now we're checking out the Silent Hill 2 remake gameplay trailer. <laughs> Mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, you can't I just sneak just... up on people. It's okay. Man. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking same for Silent Hill. I think you should stay away. This town, there's something wrong with it. Oh, well, how's up? Is it dangerous? Maybe. Maybe is the understatement of the year, but I'm sure. not lying. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I mean, no one say you're lying, but then again, the way she just instantly said I'm not lying just reminds me of like She's usually in a situation where no one really listens to what she says or something, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind that, I feel like. The clock stuff that uh, I'm going either way. There's just so much about that clock, I told <laughs> No, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> going to places where you don't belong. The nurse, please take my temperature. 
Watch me and take my temperature off, please. Yeah, I don't think he likes the nurses, guys. I wonder why. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Who's him, though? I don't know. Is it the guy with the weird whatever that is? Is he a door or is he in no. the door? I'm not sure. Please. Who knows? Really. So those were the two trailers. Now let's get to talking about the game, shall we? So first off, a lot of people did point out that um, you know when they saw the nurses, they said, "Wait a minute, did they nerf?" The nurse's chest size. <gasps> Did they nerf Booba? <gasps> you know, people went to like, what? Did you just nerf the Booba last half? I mean, why would you do that? You know, kind of situation. So, and I'm saying it like that because they actually did make it into a whole situation because like, uh, look, it takes a lot for someone to like come out and make a tweet who is a designer and say like like guys guys i don't know why you keep saying we nerfed it we did not nerf it you know so this is uh masahiro ito and he literally made a tweet addressing saying that you know <laughs> we didn't nerf them okay we <laughs> actually made a little bit more changes to them and all that see like he said one of my bubble head nurse concept bars for silent hill 2 remake the first pick and the in-game model of uh, bh nurse in the original silent hill 2 that i designed and remodel the second and third pick they are not so much exposed cleavage the new one for, that's coming out for the silent hill 2 remake which you know i mean she looks good although i did notice in some gameplay like either we can't really tell that they have the stockings on them and stuff but you know either way they look good though <laughs> and then here's uh what they used to look like and then he's all like like look look the chest is like pretty pretty similar you know like you can see a little bit of a the cleavage here exposed and then you can see the cleavage here exposed as well so he is right in, in saying that you know there's not that much difference maybe it's just people's memories that misconstrue it so yeah he thinks people might be mistaking the nurse's you know booba size with another silent hill a version of the game he did it pretty similarly to what it was and now what it is and stuff like that you know also i really do enjoy the fact that she has stocking stuff that gives her a different kind of feel and a different kind of fan service and all that you know and he even said it uh here as to the nurse pick blue bar was released as one of the concept bars i made her wear the stockings with the color because i was pointing out that the original nurse in the original silent hill 2 exposed her skin too much and i wanted to mean this is a remake also because of a game design mm -hmm. nurse wise i will give it to them they are pretty similar like they do be similar there's a reason why there needs to be appeal because of the game's narrative right and i would say like this has pretty much a lot of appeal okay like ooh la la nurse please yes thank you take my temperature <laughs> like if you say this has no appeal i don't know what to tell you but yeah it's pretty similar so let's check out the characters now shall we so this one was posted in the r slash silent hill reddit so th thank you for the to this guy that you know put this together and stuff like that so here is james uh the main dude that we play in the game so here's what he looked like in 2001 one here's what he looks like now in 2024 like yeah that's a that's a big glow up there james indeed and then here we have uh laura the little girl 2001 2024 i mean she looks pretty similar to what she, she was indeed yeah the only difference i would say is her clothes look a little bit more cleaner in a way but not really because it does look a little bit faded out but you know yeah but these weren't the characters that caused the most uh, controversy uh, anyways. These were the sh true characters that people went crazy about. Uh, Maria and Angela with design-wise. Because for Maria, they talked a lot about how her outfit was changed. Like this was how she looked in 2001, 2024. She looks pretty different with outfit-wise. Like not with the color-wise of the outfit. More like the outfit itself. People were a bit eyebrowing like huh you know we're not really sure about this design like why did we change her this much with outfit wise hmm you know and then with angela they're just all like yeah why does angela look like this in the first place what's happening 
you know, but I will say Angela looks pretty different if you compare her to the 2001, uh, 2024. There's no doubt about it. She looks pretty different, okay? And if you want to know just how much uh, if people lost their mind about these two characters design-wise, let's quickly look a little bit at an article, shall we? So apparently uh, Angela is supposed to be 19 years old and the people that made her in the original game kind of made her look a little bit older than 19. Like if I saw her, I wouldn't say she does look 19. This girl, a little bit closer closer to I would say 19 sure but like this one yeah a bit more she's supposed to be sad you know because she had a rough past this does make sense but then people I don't know what it is maybe they just don't really remember what she looked like in the original or maybe they just wanted to poke fun at it because of a certain angle and stuff so then a lot of people like you see like this the angles and all that right and then some people even went and like beautified her. But to the people that actually beautified Angela, you do realize that this is Silent Hill 2. This is a horror game about James's psyche, right? Like, where are you finding someone that looks like this in the Silent Hill itself? Who even looks that much makeup in the first place? Like, this feels more like a joke when they say we're going to make her look better because like this kind of look wouldn't even makes sense in the game itself you know what what are you guys doing anyways <laughs> even this person pointed out it's funny how much people are missing the mark of the whole angel debacle she's supposed to be a young woman looking very aged from you know uh stuff that happened to her her being attractive isn't important in the slightest until someone told me i thought angela from og was like 40 <laughs> which i mean fair enough fair enough what would this game be i don't know but like this is more like a dress-up game or something else than a silent hill game let's let's be honest there so let's talk about maria's clothing like i said people weren't too upset about how she looked per se it was more that her outfit looks pretty different compared to this one so they were more upset about the outfit change than anything because of how her character goes and stuff like that some people think that maybe because her original look was taken from what christina aguilaria wore back in the day um maybe that's why they couldn't have done the same outfit i mean maybe it could be that maybe it could be just that they wanted to give it a different kind of look maybe this outfit is going to like maybe this outfit is gonna like change a bit maybe you know in a different cutscene you go through depending on where you go from the game itself maybe she'll take off her jacket maybe she'll you know just switch up her look a little bit more who knows you know we don't know how it's gonna go some people suggest maybe it's gonna be like a dlc outfit her og outfit that could also happen yeah sure but i don't think there's much of a need to like kick up a fit over the outfit change i mean it's not like she looks you know completely bad either it's not like they completely covered her uh, with like a bed sheet saying "Ooh, now you're a ghost maria Ooh. we don't know that's the entire point to all of this though you know no matter what kind of speculations people are doing and no matter what kind of uh, arguments they're trying to put out and stuff like that the game is not out yet it is impossible to say like okay the game is terrible they really did mess this up this is the worst game ever why did you make the remake like this yada 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 for you to have a convincing argument in that way you actually need the game to be released so then you can point out the points that you think is what messed it up in the first place okay like you you guys gotta chill down people gotta chill down the game is not released okay we don't know what it's gonna look like okay just we're just gonna have to wait a few months and see how they actually uh, did what they did to the game itself and and all encompassing then say what you want to say like play the old game if you want before the new game comes out in october if you do get the game compare it to that or like watch someone play it and then compare that to that like for me the little bit of information we are given and the little bit of gameplay we've seen i think it's way too early to say that they really messed this up as a remake sure the ones that are making it might not have the greatest reputation for some or maybe some people do like their games and just want to have faith that you know they did a good job either way you know we still need it to release and then we need to see what's gonna unfold before our eyes to even make a judgment call try to keep your opinions until after the game is released then we'll see what you say but for now i'll say it's not like it doesn't look not promising you know 
And plus the nurses look good, so I might be biased. And then no, I did not play Silent Hill, any kind of Silent Hill game. Silent Hill 2 is the one I'm kind of interested in to see. Maybe I'll get the game. Maybe I'll play. This will be my first time experiencing Silent Hill 2. It will be the remake. Who knows? But yeah, I think we need to hold a little bit of the opinions for after the game is released. Let me know what you guys think. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video with whatever it is watch more videos. Bye!